In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather together to offer fitting worship to God, let us first ask him to show us his mercy so that we may more fittingly offer this sacred sacrifice on the behalf of others and to his glory. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise him, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre, as he sat in the entrance of his tent, while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought, that you may bathe your feet, and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food, that you may refresh yourselves, and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender, choice steer, and gave it to a servant, who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before the three men, and he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, Where is your wife, Sarah? He replied, There, in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord. his 
money at usury and accepts no bride against the innocent. One who does these things shall never be disturbed. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister, in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary, who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think we can all probably empathize with uh, Martha in this situation. Uh, I would suspect that all of us have at some point or, or, or another in our lives uh, had a lot of work to do, a whole ton of things that needed to get done. And the person who was supposed to be helping us was off somewhere else doing something else. And we would be in a panic. This has to get done. And she, he or she is not there to help me. What do I do? Martha's solution was to go to Jesus. Jesus, tell her to help me. But Jesus knew that there was something more important going on here. After all, Jesus did not come amongst us 
to enjoy a good meal and fine wine. No, Jesus came to proclaim the good news of the gospel, salvation for all people, and the love that God has for each of us. And Martha was more concerned with feeding Jesus than in listening to him. Mary, however, she knew what was important. How often do we miss out on the important things in life, relationship with God, because we're so busy worrying about what is going on in the world around us or taking care of worldly ideals or, or uh, what needs to be done. My brothers and sisters, never, never let the world interfere with your relationship with God. Because what happens in this world is of passing interest. But what happens between you and God will have eternal consequences. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and visible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, not only for ourselves, and our own needs, but for all in need. For those who do not yet believe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good weather and the fruits of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come before you with faith and love to praise your goodness and to acknowledge our need. We ask you to hear the prayers we make in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Where charity and love prevail, their God is ever found, brought here together. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in this one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Stand. 
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel, the good news of our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Michael, the, the Archangel, Archangel defend us in battle. Be, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Be May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the souls. Amen. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Welcome as we gather together to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I am so happy that you have joined us and I continue to pray with you and with all the members of our diocese as we pray for the sick and we pray for your families and your friends. God bless you and thank you for your support of the Sunday Mass. <laughs> 